Hey guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be filming a how I edit my videos. So in this video, I'm going to show you what software I use, what music I use, how I add text to my videos, all of that. I'm just going to start by opening Final Cut Pro. First, I'm going to talk about my uploading schedule. I only edit my videos for two days. I've gotten a lot better at shortening the editing time, so I'm going to show you how exactly I do that. So day one, I do rough cuts, and then on Wednesdays, I do text, music, and all of the extra pizzazz. So first, when I import a clip in here, I just watch it all the way happy through. Tuesday. As you can see, I was like, happy Tuesday, everyone, and I just paused. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut that out, so you just click. I already cut it, but you can see by this broken line, um, by hitting Command B, I just cut it, and then I'm just going to hit Delete. And then sometimes I like to have the first clip a little more zoomed in. I click on the clips. I just put my little cursor thing in the very beginning, um, like that little orange line. And then I go ahead and click on this little crop button, and I click crop. And then I'm just going to click crop again, and then use these little purple arrows to just kind of resize. I don't want it to be that drastic because I'm not making it like a zoom in. I'm just making it more appealing to the eye, you know what I mean? I'm just going to go through and do that with every single other of my clips. So I'm going to try to find a place where I do a little zoom in and um, come back to you guys. So I've hit a point where I'm actually going to do a zoom in. So again, I just cut the clip by doing the command B. So I'm just going to do this part. Sorry if the middle looks kind of dirty. I honestly need to clean it. And then I just click this crop button again. And then I click Ken Burns. So Emma Chamberlain is like famous for doing this, but a bunch of YouTubers do it, honestly. Red square, which is like the ending button. I, I like to make that a little bit smaller so it's more pronounced and I'm zooming in. Clean it. Okay, that's exactly how I want it. Do you guys see these little sound waves at the bottom? I'm just dragging my cursor around them. Sorry, it's kind of going, making the image go really fast or the video, I guess. Um, but you see where they drop off right here? Most likely, it's a part that I need to cut out, unless it's like a close-up of something that I'm just not talking, but most likely it's a part that I need to cut out. Probably just a long pause, and therefore can be cut out, because I know it's super hard to find when to cut off the end of clips. <laughs> Basically, um, whenever I find a part that I want to lay some b-roll over and just have the audio in the background like I do in a bunch of my haul videos, which you guys should all go watch, um, I just separate the clip like I've shown you guys before, then I click on it with two fingers, just like double click, and I click on detach audio, and there's a little audio at the bottom, and then I just move it off to the side so I can delete the clip. And then I move in the clip that I want to use for the B-roll. It's just like a close-up of a necklace I was wearing. So you drag this little slider down so there's no volume on this B-roll clip. So then you just play it and it goes... It flows perfectly with the B-roll. I actually did it really well that time, so I'm kind of proud. The rough cut for the video is all complete. So now I'm going to show you what music I use and how I use copyright-free but still good music. I noticed in my video like description box, I have links to songs from Thematic. It's a website that is free to join and basically you get access to thousands of copyright-free songs free of charge. Again, this is not sponsored, but it's just the website I use. And then you can hit play to listen to it, or if you want to download, just click this button, and it just downloads right away. And literally all you have to do is just then import the file into Final Cut. Basically, I just go to parts where it's like quiet. In the background, I could just have like some light music, like... Like, I think this would be good, this light background music. So I'm just going to put this, and then I drag this little slider down. Maybe, maybe like 30 so you can actually like hear things. But I also want the music to kind of bother people, you know what I mean? Because I hate personally when music is overpowering. I'm back with a fresh battery and add a third song. I'll see if there's any b-roll here. I don't think there really is. Well, I mean, there kind of is. So I'm just going to pick a third song. Oh, I really like this song. It's called Look Like Art. You guys can see, but... So first, I'm just going to cut it at the end of the video. My videos have been very short recently because I like to get to the point. So, so step one is complete. Day one is complete of editing. Wednesday, day two of me editing. So here, I'm actually going to do something that I don't do that often. 
Um, but I'm going to put a little filter over it for my video. So how I do that is I just go on. I just have a folder. I think it's called like extras. And just take that. Imported it. I'm just going to drag it over this picture just like that. Um, so as you can see, this one doesn't really cover. So I'm just going to go through here. Crop and then done. And it works. And then basically to make it so you can actually see me in the background i'm just going to turn the opacity down to about like there so then i'm going to go in and add text and i'm going to search custom so see it just pops up and just says title i'm going to say like week of outfits online school week of outfits i always do havel canoe usually bold or bold italic i'm just going to go for bold and then to change the color click on face show and then you just put it on black i'm actually gonna adjust the size of this just to make it a little bit bigger as you can see you can drag it really far up or down i'm just gonna put it right there okay so now i'm gonna show you the first text little pop up on the screen this part where i say i honestly need to clean it i'm just going to hit copy paste with the text just do that and then obviously i'm going to change what it says I'm just So actually, I'm going to change it to white because that black is just not showing up. And I usually do white anyways. I prefer doing white, but sometimes I can't just depending on the background and stuff. Selected. I actually want to put an audio effect on it. I haven't showed you guys how to do that yet. So I'm just going to click this button right there. There we go. And I'm just going to put it on the clip that I want just like that. And just drop it in. Casual and comfortable outfit. I